Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Netra is the unsung hero of Balakot strike and air skirmish followed after that. The next day when F16 combat jets of Pakistan Air Force attempted to void Indian airspace it was the indigenous AW and C which alerted MiG-21s and other fighter jets on air patrol about F16s resulting in a dogfight between MiG-21 and F16. In a major boost for indigenous defense industry and Indian Air Force, the central government has cleared a mega project of six new Made in India Air One Early Warning and Control aircraft worth rupees eleven thousand crore. These AWNC will be built on Airbus 319S or A321 aircraft to be provided by state-owned Air India. The six AWNC Block Two planes would be highly capable. Than their predecessor Netra plane. The best part of the project is that it is to be built on existing aircraft provided by Air India, which means India don't need to buy the platforms like Airbus 330 and save good amount of money from its already starving defense budget. This is a much needed initiative because if we compare with our adversaries, we are lagging behind in the airborne early warning system. Pakistan currently operates seven airborne early warning system. From SAP of Sweden and four Chinese, and it has total of 395 fighter jets. If we talk about Indian Air Force, then we have six Sukhnine aircraft and six AW and Cs. Pakistan has one AW and C for every 32 fighter jets, whereas Indian Air Force has one AW and C on 109 aircraft. At the same time, Pakistan has to deploy. These aircraft only against India, but Indian Air Force need to deploy AW and C on the frontier with Pakistan and China. This would have given you some idea why AW and C platforms are very important for Indian Air Force and need to be ramped up. If we talk about existing AW and C of Indian Air Force, it has three Netra AW and C developed on Embraer EMB 145 platform and three Falcon AW and C developed. On Ilushin IL-76 platform by Israel Aerospace, a typical airborne all-in-one system consists of radar mounted on the aircraft along with all necessary controls and electronics, duly supported from ground systems and data. Such a system has the ability to detect and track multiple airborne intruders simultaneously and also identify if they are friend or foe. This enables forces on the ground and in the air. To initiate countermeasures, the system can also intercept hostile communication and radar signals from ground or air and determine their locations. The aircraft can remain in flight for long hours as it is equipped with in-flight refueling facility. India is only the fourth country in the world to have developed this advanced system, popularly known as Eye in the Sky, for its ability to detect enemy aircraft soon after they are airborne. While patrolling the sky at a distance of 300 kilometers from border, it can alert air force bases to launch interception missions and guide Indian air force jets in the event of a dogfight. The six new eyes in the sky would be stationed at different places in the countries for effective surveillance along the borders. Air India will be transferring six aircraft to Indian Air Force soon, and it will send to OEM for equipments. Center for Airborne Systems (CAPS). Is in charge of developing six airborne early warning system, and has said that all six Netra MK2 will be handed over to Indian Air Force in next six to seven years period. Netra MK2 will also provide more than 240 degree coverage, but CAFS refuses to confirm at this point. However, it is expected to provide coverage of 270 or 300 degrees. It will be equipped with a scaled-up variant of AES radar that was previously used. In the Netra MK1, the scan range and tracking capabilities of AES radar mounted on Netra MK2 will be more than double what is on Netra MK1. Since A319 is a bigger platform than ERJ145, radar can be packed with more transmit and receiver module, and more power can be derived from the bigger engines to meet the additional power requirement of the scaled-up radar. The Netra MK2.0 is expected to have a range of 450 kilometers and will be able to detect less observable targets such as drones and stealth fighters. 
In future, DRDO is also planning to develop 360 degree AVOX based on Airbus A330 platform, which will be called AVOX 1. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.